We know the holidays are coming up, and so what better way to celebrate the festiveness of the season than with sparkling wine and champagne? I'm Devon Hatchett Robinson, also known as the Bubbleista. I call myself the Bubbleista because I'm a bit of a champagne aficionada and I love sparkling wines and champagnes. So my very first pick for the night is the Hame Serra Cristalino Cava. The extra dry means that it has a little bit of sweetness in it, and I like this one in particular because it has notes of crisp apple, peach, and pear. This one is one of my favorites as well because it's under $10, so you can't beat the price on it. This next group that I like are under $20. This is the Sofia Coppola, and it's the cutest little pink can. I love it because it's an individual serving. You have the little straw there. It's a really good champagne, or sparkling wine rather, because it's made in the champagne style. You see the label, it says Blanc de Blanc on there, which means that it's made out of white grapes. Because it is a Blanc de Blanc style sparkling wine, it's going to be very creamy, very long bubbles, very, very kind of seductive when you drink it. So this is one of my favorites as well. This one is the Gruet Brut. Now this is a really popular, popular sparkling wine. The interesting thing about it is it's actually made in New Mexico, which there aren't a lot of wineries in New Mexico. It's about $15, and again, this one kind of has some crisp green apple notes to it, which I really like. And it's one of those sparklers that everyone will like at the dinner table. This one is really interesting to me. It's called the Shook, and it's a sparkling Shiraz. So if you have any people that like red, this is the perfect option for them. It's got a lot of rich berry, dark berry notes to it, like you would expect a Shiraz to have. Dark berry, blackberry. It's really, really delicious and it goes well. If you have prime rib on your table, it's a perfect complement to that. This is a really interesting option to bring to the dinner table and I think it'll delight people when they get a taste of it. This is one of my everyday favorites to drink, La Marca. And I'm one of those people that believes that you don't have to wait for a special occasion to drink sparkling wine and champagne. So this is one of my everyday sips. Prosecco is made in Italy, and if you're looking for something to really go into your budget well, Prosecco is a great option. And the awesome thing about this is this is a Magnum, which means there are two bottles in this one bottle, two regular bottles, so two of these equals one of these. It's a great value and you'll have plenty to go around for everyone. Now finally, this is where my heart lies. This is the Robert Monqui Grand Cru. And it's called a grower champagne or as some people like to call it, a farmer fizz because it's made completely in-house in the Champagne region. The farmers grow the grapes, they harvest the grapes, then they make their own champagne as opposed to the big champagne houses who buy grapes from within the Champagne region and then make their wines in the house. This one is a little bit more than $20. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth it. It's incredible. The grower champagnes taste like nothing else because everything is done in house with the farmers and they do everything with love and passion there. So these would be my picks for your holiday table for sparklers. I hope you enjoy trying these. I'm Devon Hatchett Robinson, also known as the Bubbleista. I'd like to give a very special effervescent shout out to Afro-Bohemian snobs.